integrity 100 percent good to go cap we should have a talk when you have the time of course About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own, Delgado orders me to help you out. Happy. Oh, I'm thrilled. Still, this leaves me with a lot of unknowns, and in our line of work, unknowns get you killed. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? Hmm, okay. So why are you targeting a gall bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? His credentials. So you're hitting the Gall Bank branch in New Atlantis. Nice score, very lucrative and very dangerous. If you're going after a gold mine like that, I'll want to come along for the ride. Or you're not getting near Dombrowski. Like him or not, he's the Siren's captain, so his assistance is going to be invaluable. Maybe we should hear what he has to say. Well, well. It appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. Fine. You want to play it that way and suit yourself. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Oh, God. I'd rather hunt down Varun's zealots than mingle with those egotistical frauds. Yeah, well, lucky for you, it's not black tie, so you'll be fine. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper-level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Now you're speaking my language. Oh, there's one last thing. Dryden equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. We oh, should have a talk the gala, when you have the time, the of course. Days. They're frozen. Not fresh. Shh. Listen. You're a guest of Captain Rockoff, right? Welcome aboard.
should have a call when you have the time. With all the worthy causes in the settled systems, oh, you'd think people wouldn't waste money on these pretentious luxuries. In the event of a lockdown, remember to return to your cabin in a quiet and orderly fashion. Quite a lovely story. Have you liner. tried the canopies? Nothing but the best horrid. for the society. Positively huh? horrid. The considerable amounts of cash that Dumbroski donates is the only reason we allow him to attend society functions. It's for the society's high rollers. If you don't have more than eight figures in your account, I wouldn't even bother going after the award. Is this about that feature SSN and ran a few years ago? I can assure you. This is a legitimate charity organization. That's all then? Okay. Here for business or pleasure? Larry likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. This is going to be the ninth Earth Savior Award ceremony. But the first time it's ever been held aboard a Starliner. It's a shame that the Earth ended in such a sorry state. But I'm glad the society has the nerve to do something about it. Enjoy the rest of the event. That view is Hello. absolutely Are you a member of the society? Letty has an A level executive rating over at Galbank. Which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. All I know is that the award is given to whomever contributed the most to the preservation of Earth as a historic landmark. Not much, other than the fact that they host these wonderfully entertaining gala events every month. Don't forget to donate to the cause. I certainly hope the society they to chair hold has all really outdone herself this Starliner. time. Dombrowski is married to some poor woman that he constantly leaves behind in New Atlantis when he goes on his business trips. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you think it was her own child. You don't necessarily have to be wealthy to contribute, though the minimum donation level is 5,000 credits. Nice to have met you. An open bar would have been nice. The Tridents gouging us for every credit we've got. So what brings you aboard? Pleased to make your acquaintance. Yes, he's some kind of a top dog over at Galbank. I heard? He replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the awards committee this year. The way she dodds over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. The Society was founded about eight years ago by Carl S. A. Worthington, a prominent businessman from New Atlantis. Hmm. Huh. Well, that was boring. Here for business or pleasure? I certainly hope they decide to hold that all future view society is events absolutely a spectacular, isn't it? He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swiss. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Sheila Holbrook is chair of the award committee this year. 
The way she dotes over that glorified trophy, you'd think it was her own child. When you join, they send you a small chunk of rock from the Earth itself. I keep mine on my desk. Enjoy the rest of the event. Is this important? I don't have a lot of time for idle nonsense. Yes, I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Yes, I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? Yes, it's quite marvelous, isn't it? Absolutely priceless. Alas, I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the ceremony to see it in all its glory. It's far too valuable to be left anywhere else except the master safe located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Please remember to obey. We should have a talk when you have the time. Glad to have you aboard. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Well, if you change your mind, I'll be here. Have a wonderful trip. I'm sorry. It's against Trident policy to discuss our personal feelings towards a fellow crewmate. You do? Hmm. All right, but you didn't hear this from me. Do you understand? I don't want to lose my job. I like Captain Rokov, but I think he's mixed up with some very dangerous people. I was bringing some paperwork to his quarters one day, and I found a slate with a message he received from someone named Delgado. That would normally be fine, but the message mentions the Crimson Fleet as in pirates. Can you believe it? If you want to grab it, the slate should still be in his quarters. Somewhere. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make you stay more comfortable. I'm sorry, but unless you're reporting a security situation, I need to get back to- Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? Okay, there's no need for that kind of talk. I'm sure we can work something out, right? Here, take it. Take it, and go. So what brings you aboard? There's something I need to talk to you about. Can I help? There's something I need to talk to you about. Sorry, do I know you? Okay, wait, are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. 
And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. <sighs> I can't believe this is happening. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works. So let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it gonna take to make us both happy? Ugh, I should have destroyed that disgusting letter. Fine. You win. You know, this whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out, and then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. If you're angry at anybody, it should be yourself for getting mixed up in this ridiculous scheme in the first place. Judge me all you want, lady. At this point, if I'm going down, then all I'm focused on is dragging Larry down with me. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. I wish I had some. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. I hope you've you hurt Dombrowski. I'd like to speak to you. Nail his ass right to the wall. Hello. You here for the charity event? Oh, uh, I'm afraid that's a bit outside my wheelhouse. I work for UC Security, so I don't think I could be of much help. I have nothing to do with Galbank. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. You're a liar and an absolute disgrace to the United Colonies. Don't test me. You have no idea how high up the chain I am with UC security. Not only can I make you disappear, I can also make sure the settled systems forget you existed in the first place. Worried? Why should I be worried? Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? We should have a talk. When you have the time, of course. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up, and I guarantee that Embassar's gonna demand that you be arrested. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. It's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency.
<sighs> the notion of tampering with the life support had me worried for a moment there. But it sounds like you know what you're doing. I have no idea what all of that technical jargon meant. But cause enough confusion and it will buy us plenty of time. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, what's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start backing. Things are getting hot around here, and it won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Go I have something, something useful, I need okay? to discuss with you. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Hold up. This area is off limits to passengers. Wait a second. You're Captain Rolkov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry. That area is off limits. No exception. Ah, you're a fellow techie, huh? <laughs> I can respect that. Tell you what. I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. Remember not to touch anything, please. There's some heavy security protecting you. We should have a look when you have the time. It appears that we've definitely ruined the party. Everyone's gone. I have something I need to discuss with you. something I need to discuss with you. This ship is in a state of emergency. I was wondering if you were the cause of the ship-wide emergency. It's time you stop playing games All and tell me why you're here. May I have your attention, please? I always took him for the a fool. I can't believe he's emergency. stupid enough to have gotten mixed please up with the Crimson Fleet. Still, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over any evidence? Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it! 
That means my money's already gone. And Dombrowski's going to walk away with a fortune. I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't want to end up on the Crimson Fleet shit list. But if I give you that information, it, it falls into the wrong hands. I'll end up in jail. This is a lose-lose situation for me. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. You better tell Dombrowski to run, because if you don't kill him, I will. And I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. No! Please! You've got something for me? No! Please! There's something I need to talk to you about. Is the urge, could you? All hell's breaking loose across the siren, and the UC's on its way. We don't have long. Well, this isn't the road I would have taken, but hey, you got the job done. You're crazy. You know that? Well, you sure livened it up. It's gonna cost Trident the fortune to mop up this mess. I'm glad one of us did. I'm just hoping you'll put in a good word for me with Delgado. Otherwise, I've risked my career for nothing. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Ah, so he told you to keep it from me. I see. I wouldn't want you to risk your position with the fleet like I did, so I'll just leave it alone. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining. All passengers, it's been a long time. Attention, 
I owe you one, Gilbert. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit short in that department myself. Perhaps I can pay you back later in some other way. Just look for me on the uh, key, and I'll see what I can do. All right, we better get out of here before Trident sends rescue ships to investigate. Hopefully, the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. for you. I feel... Hello. Welcome to the... Just one moment while I verify. Oh, uh, yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. Me? No. Look, this is my first day on the job. Just cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. Got a wife and kids to feed. Everything checks out. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. There we go. Have a wonderful day. I picked up something you might be interested in. any weapons or ammo.
I have something for you when you have a moment. Always listen to Delgado. Your buddy Rokoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rokoff, I guess we can give him another chance. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And... I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. You can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. Yeah, sure. We'll just wrap your ship in a ton of copper and launch you right in there. That ought to do the trick, right? Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. The Rook's right. We tackle one problem at a time. Can we track it, neighbor? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But, before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called a comm spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comm spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. You're no damn picnic to work with either, so deal with it, Rook. All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right. Let's get this over with. Follow me. Yes? If I had a Birian crest, I'd run my own city, like Feyu. Except in my town, you could do Aurora anywhere. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I gonna be very disappointed? Well, that's because you'd be absolutely right. You see, everyone above you in the fleet is making more than you are off the same gig. 
That's why we're all fighting our way to the top. Understood? Good. Now, you might want to hand over that award before I have you tossed off the key. Just a thought. Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're gonna end up with some credits in your pocket. That about does it then. A hell of a deal for both of us, I'd say. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, Fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. All right, Jazz, what do you got? According to the latest, the comm spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location disclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimison. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Your connection is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Don't worry. We know how to deal with her type. I sure hope so. She might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's gonna be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. Hmm, interesting. Well, don't take any chances. Nave is right. Just grab everything labeled Com Spike that isn't nailed down. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal, because you're gonna need it. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay, you'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical. Privileges of rank, my darling. We'll discuss it a little later. And you, get the hell out of here. And don't come back without that comm spike in your cargo bay. Hit me up if you got questions. 